Impartial advice, making fair decisions in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, impartial advice. This term is not just crucial in understanding English better but also in grasping the cultural nuances that come with it. So, let's get started and unravel the layers of impartial advice. Before we jump into the whole phrase, let's first break it down. The word impartial is key here. Being impartial means having no bias or favoritism. It's all about being fair and neutral, not leaning towards one side over the other. This concept is important in many aspects of life, such as in law, journalism, and everyday decision making. Now, let's look at the second part of the phrase, advice. Advice is a recommendation or suggestion given to someone about what they should do. It's a form of guidance or opinion offered to help someone make decisions. However, advice can be influenced by the advisor's personal opinions or experiences. When we combine these two words, impartial advice refers to guidance or recommendations given without any personal bias or prejudice. It means offering suggestions based solely on facts, objectivity, and fairness, without being influenced by personal feelings or gains. This type of advice is crucial in situations where a neutral perspective is needed, like in counseling, legal advice, or even in personal relationships. Understanding and giving impartial advice is crucial because it ensures fairness and objectivity. It's especially important in professional settings where decisions need to be made without personal biases affecting the outcome. It also builds trust, as people are more likely to trust advice that is unbiased and fair. And that wraps up our exploration of impartial advice. Remember, being able to understand and use this phrase not only enhances your English skills but also helps in developing a fair and balanced perspective in various situations. Hope you found this video helpful, and stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of English. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!